Hi there, Scott Brody here from the Brody Windsor Group with another installment of our educational video series. And today's Pro Tip Tuesday, we'll be talking about pyrite. What is it and what should you be aware of as a homeowner? So pyrite is a mineral that is found in almost all rocks and most notably in the backfill or crushed stone material that is used under concrete slabs, uh, most notably in garages and basements. And there are different types of pyrite and some can be more unstable than others when they come into contact with moisture or water. And this can cause swelling, cracking, um, which can affect the, uh, the concrete slab and could potentially uh, compromise the foundation and structural integrity of a home. So it could be a serious problem, um, but we wanna know what is the, the risk of that swelling occurring, which is why we conduct pyrite tests. And the test is really to uh, determine the, um, the potential for swelling of that backfill material. So it's not testing the percentage of pyrite, but it's, it's, it's an index that uh, ranges from a scale of zero to 100 and gives you an indication as to the, the risk or potential of swelling that could cause damage to that concrete slab. So a, an index uh, reading of between zero and 10, it would be, would be considered negligible, meaning there is uh, no significant uh, risk of damage uh, expected due to the swelling of backfill material. Obviously, the higher that index, the higher the risk of uh, potential cracking and swelling of that concrete slab. Um, it's also important to note that the presence of a vapor barrier membrane between the backfill material and the concrete slab will generally prevent this problem from occurring. So it's always a good idea to check if that vapor barrier does exist. Now, how would you determine whether there's a potential for pyrite? Uh, noticeable signs could include uh, star-shaped cracks uh, as well as heaving or lifting of the concrete, some disintegration of the concrete. These would be visible signs, uh, but it, it's impossible to tell uh, until you do a test. So when we do a test, we'll determine the risk or potential for that swelling. And whether or not there is a risk of pyrite in your home, uh, there are always some general recommendations that the experts uh, have for homeowners that we always pass along to our clients as well. And these include, uh, if you have any visible cracks in your foundation, you should be having them repaired uh, as soon as possible by a licensed foundation specialist who will use an epoxy type of material. And it is also a very good idea to ensure proper uh, drainage away from uh, the foundation walls. That means sloping the ground away as well as diverting any rainwater from the gutters as far away from the foundation walls as possible. You want to ensure uh, as little water is sitting next to your foundation as possible. And if you missed it, you can check out our video with uh, Jimmy Browning from BH Foundations on the importance of having a uh, French drain in good working condition. So uh, stay tuned because tomorrow I will be on site uh, with multi-test who will be conducting a pyrite test at uh, one of the homes that uh, one of our clients has made an offer on. So we'll be able to show you exactly what's involved in taking a sample uh, in order for the lab to be able to test. Um, so until then, take care and we'll see you soon.